from Orlando. Here we go. Line drive. Going to be scooped up at the 12. And it's McFadden. And Darren's got it out across the middle. Missed the Mohawk. Got the regular <laughs> haircut working. On second and 10, the throw is complete. It's after Robert Johnson, and Johnson's got a first down. So Arkansas comes out throwing a little bit different than what we expected. Passes to, uh, away from Monk and to Johnson, the wide receiver. Now it's McFadden. He might be gone on the first carry of the day. Darren McFadden dragged down inside the 10-yard line. Jack Akagwagnu saved a touchdown. And McFadden explodes for 48 yards. Boy, you, you want to talk about some strength and speed. This guy, now you understand why he's a runner for the Heisman. Watch this move that he makes back to the inside. He goes out right here. Now what? Right back inside. And that's a linebacker, number two, Casillas, who misses him. He just runs through the linebacker, and he gets the ball to the nine-yard line. That's power. First and 10, Wisconsin out the Arkansas 36-yard line. P.J. Hill hit immediately. Got maybe a yard. Badgers on top of the Capital One Bowl. High field goal. on the end around. He's got great speed across midfield. Still on his feet. Felix Jones might be gone. He is touchdown Arkansas. 76 yards. Felix the cat and he just scampered 76 for a touchdown. Well, you, you look at him just bouncing. Look, look who stays out in front with him. That's Monk, the wide receiver. Look at Monk. Monk really helps out on this play. It was mostly 90. We'll have the ball on offense with 7-12 to go when we come back. Zedon had another great year at Arkansas. Second down and seven. Stocko off play action in trouble, and down he goes. Great pressure up the middle. And it's Keith Jackson Jr., the little guy, compared to his daddy, height-wise, that is. <laughs> Six-footer at about 300. Yeah, the little guy? Did you say the little guy? Again, the five-man <laughs> defensive line. What that does, it puts every offensive lineman on a defensive lineman. Doesn't free anybody up to double-team anybody. Now it's third down and 17. Stocko, pressure coming again. Down he goes again. And this time, it's Jamal Anderson with his other uh, unique defenses. Wasn't quite like high school. Here he is on third and nine, though. Waits and fires, and he's got his man. First down across midfield. Cedric Washington. Mustaine looked like he was going to get there leading the squad. Casey Dick is back in at quarterback. And he's going to throw on first down. Complete out across the 30. And to about the 35 is Robert Johnson. And Johnson's got a first down for Arkansas. You're watching and the Capital One Bowl from Orlando, Florida. A good first quarter. Stick around. It's Wisconsin 10-7. From behind, P.J. Hill. And here he comes. And down he goes. They're not giving him any room to run. Ness, before that play with McFadden, he had carried the ball four times for 48 yards. 45 of them came on one run. Jones, on the other hand, three times for 80 yards. 76 of those yards came on one run. Darren and Herschel Walker, the only running backs in SEC history for 1,000 yards in both their freshman and sophomore seasons. And when you're uh, talking in the same breath as yeah. Herschel, that's pretty good that's company. Pretty good company. Yes, sir. So Herschel, I don't care what it takes to get the ball in the hands of number five, McFadden, or 25, Felix Jones, but you've pickup. got to do that. And again, I think you're right, Bruce. Those little short passes, whatever it is, will loosen them up a little bit. Yeah. Jones goes out. First Arkansas pair to reach 1,000 in the same season. I mentioned earlier, it's only the third time in history in the SEC. And now wants to come back with a screen to Crooks, and it's intercepted by Arkansas, and it's Keith Jackson, the big guy on the front wall, and you know his daddy's having a big time in the booth to our right right now. Uh, yes. He just showed you some of his dad's stuff. He's good hands. <laughs> Watch this. He's this not as tall as his dad, but he makes a huge play here. Well, he didn't block it, but he caught it. Did he block it? No. The thing about it is Robinson blocked Robinson. it. He caught it. Yeah. There's Keith Sr. over there doing the color commentary with Mike Nail. And Keith Jackson, of course, was a great one in All-American. Tight end at Oklahoma. He's probably the second most famous Keith Jackson in history. And there's Dan that we know. Well, they're going to throw again. Stocko across the middle again, and Beckham 
It's intercepted by Houston. Take so a look at when Stocko goes back, and his, he's looking across the field. Now here it comes. Take a look at the defensive backs that are there. There's one, two there on that side. Here comes the third, and there was another one in front. So they actually had four guys the in the it's Felix Jones in the backfield. He's got 91 yards, and here he comes for more. He's going to have 100 by halftime if he doesn't have a touchdown. On his way all the way down to the 40-yard line. Second big run of the day by Felix Jones. He just comes around, and he just outruns people. Look at this speed. Once he gets to here, now he turns it, and he's up the field. Arkansas. That Arkansas was a good stand in there in the shotgun. On third down. Firing complete. Nice throw inside the 40. Break and tackle Cedric Washington. And he's got a first down at the Badger 38 yard line. As we check in with Aaron. From the 20. And a loss of four. Neither team can get the ground game going with the exception of the two, the one long run. Mustang on first down, throws complete, and Monk with a catch. And that is his first of the day. Gary Alvarez made the right choice by picking Brett Bielema, and it sure looks like a good one. Stocko's going to go down. Relentless pressure by Jamal Anderson. That's his third. They've lost out of about 12 yards, and they've, they're, this is their fourth three and out. You know, Anderson was a wide receiver. Third down and six. Throws complete. First down and then some. Down to the 40-yard line. Lucas Miller with his first catch of the day. Frank Broyles, the athletic director's office, complaining about the direction of the offense as Darren McFadden goes inside the 35 yard Darren will take the snap, give it off to his buddy. Jones, left side. He's got it down for Arkansas, down close. Well, standing back there. You've got to stop both of them, not just one guy. McFadden has thrown three touchdown passes this year. From the 12 yard line, it's Jones inside the five. He's in, touchdown. Let's take a look at the left-hand side of this offensive line. Watch, watch the hole when McFadden hands the ball to Jones. Bang! They just cave everybody, to, or take them all to the outside, cave back into the inside, and that was Tubbs number six. Three-point ball game in Orlando. Here's a toss. P.J. Hill has not been able to get anything going offensively on the ground for Wisconsin and still doesn't there. John Stocko hasn't completed a pass in this half. Going to try it again. Maybe. In the pocket. Oh, big hit. Stocko sack back at the 16-yard line. Matt Hewitt was in. Casey Dick, a quick drop and the throw out complete to the 40. Trying to spin away and doing so. Cedric Washington. Nice second effort. Stocko. Pressure coming. And down he goes again. Antoine Robinson, Keith Jackson. Over. Instead of getting that arm motion straight ahead. Hill inside the 40 to about the 38. The ball is out. Arkansas's got it back. There's something that's happened to P.J. Hill in the latter stages of the season. Just ripped out of there. Good, nice he was job. trying to cover it. it was a